my plants. So basically what today's video is gonna be is it's gonna be a plant tour. Now I'm pretty sure like Jenna Marbles kind of started this thing, but I saw hers and I love plants um, just as much as the next person, so I was like, why don't I do this? I'm gonna start out this video by saying that I am not a plant expert. I did not go to school for this. I am not the person to go to for advice kind of when it comes to this kind of stuff. I'm basically just making this video to show you them just because I love them and you should love them and I love all my plants. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through them and show them and talk about them and then I'll show like some video clips and stuff like that and we'll go from there. If you follow me on Instagram at all, a lot of my posts are about my plants so you've probably seen most of them already but I'm gonna kind of go a little bit more in depth with them, kind of like what I do to keep them happy and healthy and we're gonna go from there. So let's get started. So again, all of my plants have names, like their actual names, and then they have the names that like I have given to them, like me and my boyfriend have given to them. So I'm going to tell you like what I think the name of the plant is. I could be wrong, that's another thing, so don't like be in the comments being like, you're wrong, because I probably am for most of the part. I have done a little bit of research into like my individual plants to see what their names are and like what the best care for them is and stuff like that, so I'm probably, I'm going to say like what I think they are, and if they're not, correct me, don't be like, you're dumb and you don't know what the thing is just you know be like okay like you're wrong because I do actually want to know so we are going to look at this guy um now this as far as I know is a pothos plant I think it's called the green queen pothos he's really happy on this side and then you turn around he's not so happy on this side just because when I have him like on my shelf it's like this is where the sun comes so they're all like grabbing for the sun this plant's name is April in our house because my friend Caitlin named her and also Bobby's birthday is in April and Caitlin's birthday is in April so I was like this one's April. I'm gonna just go through them and then put them down here. It was a lot of work dragging all my plants from there to here. Like I was actually like semi out of breath from doing that because I got like a lot of plants. I haven't counted them but there's a lot. This is one of my most recent plants. This is a watermelon pothos. This guy has only two leaves right now and I bought him like that just because I like to see kind of like the growth to see if he'll sprout anymore. I don't know if he will, but I think he's really cute. It kind of looks like a watermelon like you can see in the leaves there. This guy doesn't actually have a name yet because he's one of my most recent plants, so I haven't named him yet. No, he's not a pothos. Did I say he's a pothos? He's not a pothos. He is a peperomia. He's a peperomia. So this is my peperomia long latin name that i can't pronounce but i think he's called the watermelon pepperomia so that's what this guy is i already messed up on the second plant like this is not going well so now we're gonna look at this guy so here's like i have a story about this plant so this is toby this is toby one and this is toby 2.0 toby from the office um we named him after because i really disliked toby in the office and i really disliked him when i got him because he was not doing well it was my own fault so i guess i can't really say that anyways so this is toby and toby 2.0 I got Toby number one from a cutting from my mom's spider plant. Um, that's what it is, by the way. It's a spider plant. And basically how that works is like spider plants will grow. I think some people call them spider pups. Some people call them something else. I don't even know. So you take the little bud and you put it in dirt and then it basically just sprouts a new plant. This guy, actually, I had four of these in this pot and my cat ate them all. Apparently spider plants have like a hallucinogenic effect when cats eat them. So they get like really, really stoned off of it. So we ate the whole thing and I was like, okay, I'm gonna try to like revive him. So I did, I tried and it worked out, but it kind of looked bare because it was at one point only like this guy. And I was like, okay, so I just got this guy from the store. He's doing really well. I think he's honestly gonna have babies soon because like he's doing really well. So Toby1 and Toby2.0 are in this pot. I gotta trim some of his leaves, but this guy is one of my favorites. Moving on to the next one. I don't even know which one I'm gonna talk about next. This is also exciting for me. We're gonna talk about this guy. So this is my jade plant. It's a type of succulent. His name is Jade because he's a jade plant. That's just easy to remember. This guy came from my mom's house. I went back to my hometown a couple weekends ago and she was like, do you want this plant? And I was like, am I gonna say no to a free plant ever? Absolutely not. So I picked him up and this guy actually was out of the dirt, but I just put him back in the dirt and he seems to be doing okay. You can tell that like they're kind of like going this way because this is where my mom's window was, was this way. So they're kind of like reaching for the light. I have them usually sitting this way so that they'll kind of like even out. He's really easy to take care of. Like I water him like once every 10 to 14 days and he seems to be okay. He's also not in the overly sunniest part of my apartment. He's 
he's happy and healthy and I've had him for about like a month now, a couple weekends. So like three weeks and he seems happy so that's Jade. Alright, so we're going on to this guy which is actually definitely one of my favorites. So this is the same as April, my first plant. I believe that was my first plant that I showed you. Just a different variegation so you can tell the difference between these two plants. Um, so they're the same, they're both pothos plants, but this one has like a whiter variegation and this one is just straight green. Now this guy was one of the first plants I ever got and he was really little, like he was like maybe just a few leaves and he has grown so much. Like this is a brand new leaf that he grew a few days ago. Um, this leaf is like currently on its way to growing out which is exciting. There's a bunch of new sprouts coming out which I'm really pumped about. So what I do to take care of him is I keep him in more light. I keep him in the shelving unit that's kind of like where the light goes to because I want him to grow. As you can see he's like a, he's a vining plant. I wanted to hang him but he's not growing down so I, I keep him on the shelf and he's pretty bouncy. I really like him just because I can like actually see his growth. Like every day there's like something different, there's something new. I usually water him once a week, usually Saturdays are my watering day, it takes me like 20 minutes to water all my plants. This guy's name is Nicky Minjaj because we love vines and that's what his name is and we named him a long time ago. So the next one I want to talk about is my gold, this is my gold dust croton. This is actually one of my newer plants as well, but I love it because of the yellow spotting and you can tell it's gold dust because it literally looks like you sprinkled gold on it. He's really happy where I have him. He's sprouting a bunch of new leaves. I don't have him in direct sunlight either. You're never supposed to have house plants in direct sunlight unless it's like a succulent, then maybe they can handle it. But if you keep it in um, direct sunlight, you can get burn. Like you can literally scorch the leaves with the UV rays. So I got him, I keep him on the shelf that's on my wall and he's happy there and I like him a lot. Um, I think he's gonna grow really tall and really bushy, which I'm happy about. I gotta like keep pruning off the dead leaves, but um, this guy also doesn't have a name just because I haven't thought of one yet. It usually takes me like a couple weeks to like figure out what I wanna name the plant, but this guy is just my gold dust croton. I water him also once a week and he seems happy, so that's what I'm doing with him. So the next one is going to be, oh, okay, this is exciting. This is my somewhat sad Peperomia pilea. I was looking for months for one of these. I found one online, but they were always sold out and I didn't want to pay for shipping, so I was like, okay, hey, I just need to like go out and look. So me and my mom went on a hunt one day when I was in town. I was like, I'm looking for a Peperomia pilea. Like, I, I need one. These are really popular. You've probably seen them in a lot of YouTube videos if you follow plants. Really popular, but they're just like, they're known for having like these like really cute circular like lily pad looking leaves and I love it. He's kind of sad right now and I can't figure out why. I have been doing exactly what the internet tells me, but like, look at him, like he's so sad. So I'm just trying a bunch of different things to see if he'll perk up. But this is my Peperomia pilea, and his name is Jenny. So we're gonna move on to this guy. Huevo, get away from my plants. This is my air plant. He's not doing well, and I can't figure out why. He had a nice, like, flowery bud on the end, but it died, so I don't know what happened. But air plants are basically just plants that you don't need to put in dirt. It tells me to put it in distilled water, like, once every other week, and, like, soak it in there for five to ten minutes, like, air it out, put it back in this, like, little stand that I got. He's not doing well, and I just don't know why. His name is Senna. My Aunt Cheryl bought him for me, and he's really cute, a nice little addition to my plant collection. But I just can't figure out what's wrong with him, and he's dying really quickly, and all of his leaves are scorching, and I can't figure out why, so... If you know why air plants die, then please let me know because I really want to revive him. Like, he's really, he's really cute. And plus, like, how cute is this little holder? Like, it's just a little hand. Okay, next plant. This is my Monstera Deliciosa. I think it's a juvenile Monstera Deliciosa, but I don't really know the difference yet. Now, the reason that I'm not sure exactly what it is is because Monsteras are the Swiss cheese plants, the ones that usually look like they're literally Swiss cheese. He's not splitting any of his leaves yet and all the new leaves aren't splitting so I'm not 100% sure why like that's happening but this guy I looked for a long time as well and I got it in the plant shop in my hometown. You can tell where my window is really. But yeah he's really happy like he, he grows like you can see like these new leaves are growing in right now. So he's happy and he's growing leaves. I just can't figure out why his leaves aren't splitting. So if you again in the comments know why Monstera Deliciosa plants don't split their leaves right away then just let me know because that's like the look that everyone goes for right is that split leaf look his name is swiss beets because he's a swiss plant and my boyfriend named him swiss beets because he's a swiss plant and i don't know how his mind works but that's what we came to so this is swiss beets one of my favorites um one of my biggest for sure definitely a charm so this is my good one we're gonna move on to this guy this is literally the easiest plant to take care of so this is called a snake plant these are like the ones you see in malls and stuff because they literally don't need like any sunlight
this is my also newest member is my string of pearls I have also been looking for a string of pearls there's like very specific plants that I look for and this is one of them string of pearls and when I got them these pearls didn't even touch to like to the plate because like I, I just made this but now it's like literally flowing past the plate and it's like I'm, I'm so excited to get that like very like fullness pearly kind of look that you see in like all the Pinterest photos and stuff. I just bought this saucer and the plate from like a thrift store in my hometown and I just planted them right in there. I haven't even watered them yet. Uh, apparently you're not like barely ever supposed to water them like maybe twice a month. I've only had him for two weeks so I'm gonna water him this weekend and he needs like no water but he is so happy and he's growing new pearls like daily pretty much so it's really exciting to see. His name is Queen Elizabeth because pearls. We do not have creative names for our plants I'm figuring out. So this guy is, I am not actually sure. I know that the like the generic name is the polka dot plant. I don't remember exactly what it's called, like the actual name. I just got this plant so I'm still doing a little bit of research on it. He's in there nicely. He's really cute, really standard looking. Like I really like the variegation on the leaves. Like he's very spotted, which is really nice. He doesn't have a name yet either. I haven't thought of one. This guy is one of my longest plants I've ever had. This is my bromeliad. His name is Bro Montana because he's bromeliad and that's just funny. You know these plants, they like grow like really big like flowers. And when I got him, he didn't even have like a little red flower, but now he's growing one. Now this is a tropical plant. So you basically have to keep the soil moist like all the time and spritz it all the time. So I do that usually once a day, I'll spritz his leaves just so that he has a little bit of moisture. You can tell I haven't really been doing a great job because the end of his leaves are curling and kind of getting crispy, but he'll bounce back. Also, I have cats and some of these plants are toxic to cats, so I always keep them up on high shelves. Quavo has only ever gotten into my spider plant, but that is not poisonous. So that's good. Now that we're at the end of kind of like my little tour, this is just a succulent I have. He sits right here. I started doing water propagation. So basically what that is, is you take a cutting from your plant. Um, this is from my green queen puffos. And you just put it in water and it'll grow sprouts, like little roots at the end. And then you can place them in dirt and you can make a new plant. So I've been trying that with my uh both my pothos plants over there i'm going to show you i have one with my wandering jew that actually has started to grow roots which is really exciting and then i also have this succulent here that i'm not i'm not like super thrilled with i don't know why i don't know why i don't like him that much like he's not really like i don't know he's not really my type i got this succulent which i don't even know what the name of it is from ikea and i think it was like 5.99 he just sits on my vanity he barely gets any sun and he's happy i water him like once every other week and he's happy so he doesn't have a name because I don't like him that much. That's how I like treat my child. If they go, you don't like him, fine, you don't get a name. And I'm just gonna call him child one. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you over there to show you the plants that I have hanging that I can't take down from the ceiling. So I'm just gonna quickly give you a tour of that and then we should be done. So this is my wandering Jew that I put in water. And as you can see, it has grown roots. See that little thing? Growing roots all the way down and he's growing roots so he's sprouting and I'm happy about that. Put this Peperomia pilea um, in here. There's no roots yet. I'm still waiting. It's only been a few days. And then my pothos and this is kind of like my setup. There's a cactus that I forgot to bring out but he's just nothing so. Up here I have my own propagated wandering Jew. I took a couple of pieces of my mom's wandering Jew. He's not doing so happy but he is doing great. Um, I just put a couple of snippings into this hanging pot and he's doing well, so that's really exciting. This guy I need to get rid of. He's a really, really sad dead ivy, but the pot's so cute, so I'm happy about that. This is kind of like my setup. I put all my plants back just to do this so that you can kind of see what my setup looks like. This is one of my favorites. It's also a wandering Jew, and you can basically tell if you look really closely, it's actually like silver. Like, it's so beautiful. So I have him hanging up here. So he's from the ceiling and he's really beautiful, so that's great. And then over here I have this and it's a peperomia, I wanna say rubber fig something, I don't know. My best friend knows all this stuff and she usually tells me what it is, but that's my peperomia. I love this section of my house, like if I walk this way, like look at how beautiful that is, it's like my little jungle. So that is it, that is all my plants. Thank you so much for watching and coming through this entire journey with me. I've been wanting to make this video for a little while now, but I just haven't had the motivation to drag all my plants from there to here and do all that just because I did start my new semester in school and it's just been hectic and I'm just not a motivated person. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.